You feel like the internet blew that whole Nicki, Nicki Minaj followed you, then unfollowed you. What's that whole story? Like, what happened? She unfollowed you, and they said... You know what, y'all? Okay. Let's so, just clarify it, and we ain't going to talk about it no more. Let's just, just clarify for all the people there. in the room, in the world. If you are a follower of the Shade Room, I'm sure you didn't see my face before, <laughs> baby. Excuse me. Bless you, baby. So with the Nicki Minaj situation, um, there was a person who made a tweet, and she said... Um, you know, I need somebody to get on the remix of my song. And a fan was like, well, why don't you get Nicki Minaj on the song? And she was like, well, you know, I love Nicki, but I just feel like I've been trying to reach out to her for a long time, and I just feel like she kind of ignored me, and I feel like she entertained the girls who really don't even know how to rap. You know what I'm saying? And my feelings hurt. Like who? Woo! Call him out. <laughs> Y'all know Break what? It Call him out, Debo. <laughs> Now, y'all know what girls really can't rap. You we know don't what I'm know. We don't Don't do me know. like that. I'm going I'm to I'm have to bring my 30 outside. Now, don't do that. Names. But um, moving on. Y'all so crazy. Moving on. Yeah, I commented and I said, I, I agree. I agree that, you know what I'm saying, Nikki, you know, kind of fuck with the girls who can't really rap. When you got the girls over here who really do. Now, some people might get mad at me for saying that. It's the truth, okay? Everybody can't rap. And I'm not saying that because I'm a rapper. I'm saying it because everybody's not going to say it, okay? So anyway, Nikki got upset with me because I agree with this person. And she said, Blue, I'm going to block you then. Since she want to be ungrateful, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to block you because she does show me love. Nikki like my post. Oh, so she repost. unfollowed you and blocked you? Girl, what? Yes. Oh, no. Yes, my feelings were so hurt. And I had to explain to everybody we not saying that we are ungrateful of Nicki Minaj's support. We just saying our feelings are hurt as a real fan that we haven't worked together. And people were saying, oh, well, that just means that you want to use her and da 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 And I said, no, let's, let's have a real moment. Who doesn't want to work with their favorite artists? You know what I'm saying? Who's not going to feel away? So we took it as a humble way of saying we want to work with Nicki Minaj. But she took it like, oh, y'all ungrateful. But I still love Nicki Minaj, but that was the situation. So do you think that the industry perpetuates female beefs more so than male beefs? Absolutely. It's more entertaining when it's women. So it's not as entertaining when it's two dudes going back and forth, rah, rah. But when you got two bitches or two or three bitches or four or five, you know, it's entertaining. People want to see that. And it's catty. It's stupid. But everybody want to see how I was getting to it. I don't know why. But everybody, you know what I'm saying? Why? You know, let me ask y'all. Why do y'all like to see women fight? Let me ask y'all that. I'm trying to figure What's out what women that? be fighting, though. Like, not, no, I'm talking about, like, rap not like, women. Not, like, beating each other up. You know what I'm saying? Like, rap beef. Like, you know what I'm saying? Why do people like to stare that up? Like, why is that such a big thing? Who was the last female rap beef? It was, I remember, Nikki and Remy. I remember, I don't remember no Hell no, nah, Nikki and Cardi. Nikki and Cardi, Nikki one. and Remy, Nikki and, Okay. But, like, if you start to name female rappers, like, Lotto ain't never had Lotto no... Lotto, like, you know, so smaller ride, rappers. So you ride around listening to two female Disney... Who ride around listening to two female Disney each other? Like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's why I don't understand oh, you heard why everybody hype it up. You heard what this person said? You heard what this... You heard that? Boy, you seen that on Shade? Who doing that shit? It's people out here that feed off of that. Some dudes? People breathe and sleep off I, of that. It be I, some dudes hyping it up more than the girls sometimes, though. Y'all don't be on the media. I don't think it be... I think some of it be, like, social media beef, you mean. Like, back and forth. Because it don't really be, like, rap uh, beef. It happens on social media. But then the fans get to really listen to the girls' music. What is she saying? What is this song about? Is she talking about this person? Then it becomes that. You know what I'm saying? So but, you feel like it's from free promotion? It's always that. As long as it's free and you get promoted, that's free promotion. So, shit, yeah. If somebody did a diss record on you, would you do one back? It depends on who it is. It got to make sense. They got to be bigger than you? Absolutely. If I don't feel like they're bigger than me, it's stupid. What if they on their way up and, they, and, you, and you just keeping it real, you feel like they kind of got at you? Like, it was depends hard. on what they say. That what it is. You know depends what on what they, they say. say. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you got to have thick skin in this rap shit, so it's going to depend on what they say. Who they is, what they stats is. If it's just a little nobody just trying to get a little shit off, you know what I'm saying? Get your little shit off, girl, whatever. But if it's somebody that, you know what I'm saying, I feel like can really rock with me, then let's have some fun. Like, no malice involved. Let's have a good time. Would you strike first if it was on your mind? That's dry. I wouldn't do that. I got too much time, you know, to do other shit that's more important. But okay. if, uh, you know what I'm saying, if anybody want to go there, I ain't going to never be like, oh, girl, it's cool unless it don't make sense for me. You know what I'm saying? I can't give you free promotion off my shit and then I don't, you know what I'm saying? I lose money. You know what I'm saying? So. You got kids? Ooh, not yet. Okay. 
You think when you have kids, you can always fuck your baby dad? That's what we were talking about earlier. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I mean, I still keep the dog, even though me and my dude aren't together, but we still co-parent with the dog. But I really think we just use the dog. So so anytime so you want to call him, he, he'll pull. I feel like he should pull up, yes. All right, then. Thank you. He got my key. She, she I was lying earlier. No, she's some bullshit right now. I, if no, y'all saying no. y'all don't still fuck y'all baby daddy, y'all lying. That is a, no. They lie, girl. There, there are exceptions to every rule. Thank you, Screen. See? Thank you. When it comes to like, uh, let's just say life and relationships and niggas, what's some shit you just sick of as it pertains to just niggas? Not even those relationships, maybe the industry, maybe when you just out, like some shit you just sick of. Pet peeves. I'm tired of seeing niggas smoke hookah. Yeah, I, I, Kodak, oh, Kodak, 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 where you at? What Kodak? Kodak, she just I'm killed you, Kodak. Kodak. You're dead, Kodak. Kodak. I just don't get it. Like, Kodak. maybe they don't want to smoke a blunt and that's Dante fine, Day. but you want to smoke oh a God. hookah? Dante Day, you heard she just said. Oh my God. Dante, you smoke talking. hookah, baby. Oh, Dave, you smoke a hookah? Dave, you smoke hookah? They said, these folks said they, I'm huh? tired. Huh? I'm talking about we'll be asking for the hookah from he, the ground. You heard like, about, I hey. hit one. He said he'll hit one. So, <laughs> so you ain't so you ain't putting the coal and all that. You know how to, I know. Hey, listen. I'm well, having, you got that whole set up at your I'm, home. I'm, boy. I'm, having too, boy. I'm having too many vibes at my spot, so I got to know how to work a hookah. Okay, uh, okay. I got I to gotta have it. He answered it the right way. Oh, you way. like what the bitch you like? For sure, you're right. <laughs> Nah, I think it's a difference if a nigga got a hookah at his house for himself and he just hogging nah, a hookah. It's, that's a little, I, she that's about, a little different. That's, she talking about them niggas who be blowing the hookah in the camera. Oh, and oh, no, that's, that's what niggas that, tired yeah, of seeing. That's out. That's out. You know, that's out. Hold on, hold on, shot. What? <laughs> no, she's definitely talking about you, Kodak. You gotta hold that motherfucker she's down here, man. She's talking about Kodak. What? You gotta hold the hookah about? down here. Who, Kodak is a hookah hoe. Yeah, she's talking about you. Erica, what'd you say? Say it again, Erica. She said it to you. She's talking about you. What's that? What'd you say? What don't you like? I niggas. don't like, I don't like or understand oh, why Oh, he's a hookah dudes. smoking nigga too. That's why he's My face on that motherfucker. You oh, damn right, I'm gonna smoke that shit. Okay, Kodak, but it's just a little strange. You don't think? <laughs> no, you don't, bro. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You don't, you don't smoke THC weed? THC hookah. I do. Okay, so smoke nigga, the blunt. Nigga, you been smoking that for two minutes. So how minutes. you, so, so. No, no, so no. Do you, so do you put your filter on and blow it in the camera? Ain't no filter. <laughs> First of all, ain't no filter. Yes, I'm, she definitely blows I that might got camera. some slow motion pictures on that motherfucker, but she ain't no filter on that bitch. Yeah, she, those sheets are my, that, that, that long thing, that long thing sent by a yeah, nigga mouth. Yeah, that's my problem too. Yeah. I just, it hurts my heart to see a nigga smoking on that, anything that's yeah. extended. Damn, that's what the fuck problem. I do? You gotta that hold that shit down, problems. bro. I'm telling you how to do it, bro. Like, he's just, just yeah, wonder why you ain't got no bitch. So yeah, just, don't, shit. just don't Real smoke that shit in public. Nigga, all that out loud shit, nigga, it's you look good. great. It's all good. <laughs> you yes. You look great doing it like that, man. That's a lot. What's some other shit you sick of, Erica? Ooh, yeah. I, I, Couple more things I, I'm at least. Sure, I'm, I'm glad to know the ladies agree with me on that one. You know what? I'm, I'm tired of, and, and this is more on the controversial side. I'm tired, and I see more men going back and forth about it online than women. I'm tired of the dark skin versus the light skin versus Colorism. the brown skin. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm tired of it. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, like what you like. If you prefer a light skin woman, go for that. If you prefer a brown skin woman, go for that. But don't get on the internet and, and broadcast it or tell this girl you look pretty for this kind of girl or your hair is cute for this kind of girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, we get offended by that. And then men like to say that we insecure and no. You just need to keep your thoughts to yourself and go for what you prefer. You know what I'm saying? Dick. So That's let's let's just be, you know, grown about that. Everybody don't like to speak about self-esteem. That can fuck up a woman's self-esteem. You know what I'm saying? So, man, just be more mindful about yeah, protect what the fuck black you women. Oh Lord, that bullshit, girl. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. So you let what Will, Will, uh -oh, uh -oh. You let your nigga walk there and slap that nigga Will Smith. I'm not mad at Will Smith. Because that's his uh, wife. Go back, go back, go back. Go back. Yeah, you gotta go, go back. back. Go back. Go back. Run that back. Rewind. Rewind. <laughs> <laughs> you said fuck that shit. Girl, it's so fake. Let me hear it. Go it's ahead. so fake. The Damn. whole women empowerment, empower Ooh, black women, yeah. and keep okay. us together uh -oh. is bullshit. 
Elaborate. Uh, elaborate. Please I want to elaborate. Because we're here. Uh oh. Okay. So, specifically, let, let me just speak on my genre for what I know. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I do music, I rap. I'm a female artist. So, in this industry, it's never, you know what? She's great. Or, you know what? She's good at what she does. Or, you know what? Her song is popping. It's always, she should have did this, or she should have did that, or why this off, or why that, you know what I'm saying? Or if she does, speaking generally, if she does up this girl, it ain't because she really wants to. It's because that's what's cool, that's what's popping, and she wants to look like another black woman supporting. Like, if you're not going to genuinely support, don't say nothing. I don't want you to come like my post if you don't like me, for real. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to fake it for the, for the people. Like, these people ain't going to do nothing for you. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just a real woman, let me not say bitch, I'm a real woman at the end of the day, and if I don't support something, I don't support it, and that's just what it is. All that black empowerment shit is fake as fuck, it's for the internet, and people need to stop fucking lying like they like each other. 